Good morning. This is Yan Yan. Wow, today the weather is nice. It's sunny and in the sixties. This is how the weather should be in Colorado, but in the past couple of days, it was rainy, snowy, cold, and cloudy. I don't like it. This is the potato we bought from Costco a few days ago. Um, this is five pounds, a、uh, lots of potatoes. So we're trying to use those to make three simple dishes. In the last video, we made a gluten-free breakfast platter. In this one, we're going to make beef stew. We bought this chalk roast yesterday from Whole Food.、Um, you can buy the the one that is already cut. That's beef. stew beef. Stew beef, yeah, yeah. but. We prefer this because I think this is fresher and looks good. So、um, now I have the beef and potato and carrots. So I'm ready to make the beef stew. Okay, but what kind of beef stew are we gonna make? I can make Chinese beef stew, or we could do Irish beef stew. Hmm. Well, I made Irish beef stew the last time, so why don't we try making the Chinese this time? Okay. I think Chinese beef stew and Irish beef stew are very similar. Uh, the main difference, I think, is the the spice we use and some other the sauces we use.、Um, honey, can you tell like what these spice are? Yep, and I'm I'm gonna use a prop. See, I'm using a chopstick as a pointer. <laughs> so we have bay leaf, which is pretty common.、Uh, you use in a lot of stew dishes, and then you've got some fennel seed,、uh, cinnamon stick. You've got a dried red pepper.、Uh, you've got some、uh, Chinese Szechuan peppercorns. You have star anise, which gives it a little bit of this、uh, kind of black licorice taste.、And、then you've got some cut up green onion and some ginger. Yeah, so I bought this spice from Chinese grocery store. This bay leaves you can just buy from any grocery store. Yeah, yeah, those are from Walmart. This is a spice pack we got from Asian grocery store. This pretty much include all the spices you need to make the dish. So there are two options. You can either use this pack or use individual spices. So、uh, what we wanted to do here is we just wanted to point out some of the differences.、Uh, we showed you all the ingredients we were going to use for a Chinese beef stew.、Uh, if I was going to make an Irish beef stew, though, these are some of the things that I would use in it. And one of the things you'll notice right away is、uh, the Chinese beef stew. We don't use the celery in that dish. Um, because they have very strong taste. Yeah, it 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 doesn't seem to mix as well with the the spices. But in an Irish beef stew, obviously celery is kind of a key component. And then what I typically put in the dish, but not everybody's the same way. I'll use a little bit of、uh, red wine, and I use some、uh, Worcestershire sauce, and I'll put in a little bit of vinegar. And then of course you can't have an Irish beef stew without some、uh, some Guinness beer in there. So since we're not making an Irish beef stew. Are you going to drink it? I'm going to drink the beer. Okay,、yep. so instead of using the the beer、uh, for the Chinese one, I'm going to use the Chinese cooking wine.、Um, I'm of course I'm going to use soy sauce.、Um, I'll put some beef broth and tomato paste. That's pretty much all the ingredients we need to make this beef stew. One thing I noticed for Asian cooking. When you make these stewy type of meat, we usually put the meat in cold water and boil it for a few minutes. That way, you get rid of the impurity in the meat. After you boil the meat for a few minutes, you can see the foam on the top. We'll remove it. Now we start to making the beef stew. We'll put some oil. Can you add some chicken wine? Absolutely. How much? Some. Okay. Okay. You know that's one thing I noticed also with,、uh, between Asian cooking and、uh, American cooking. Usually,、um, in the Asian recipe, they will say put some of this, some of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But for the American recipe, usually it's very precise. 
you will say like exact amount like what you need to do. Unless it's me because I don't do that at all. Yeah, but I think it's really up to your taste. Like if you like salty, you put more salt, right? If you put, if you like sweet, put more sugar. So I guess there's a general guidelines, but yeah. you can adjust the, the quantity. Now put some soy sauce. Tell me when. Oh, you can put more than okay. that. Okay, <laughs> trying to be careful. More? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Put some sugar. I like to put a little bit of sugar. That usually bring up more flavor. Okay. And put the remaining spices in. Probably should add the bay leaves after we put the broth in. Okay. Okay, stir it again? Yep, stir them. Well, I can smell the star anise already. Already? That yeah. Has... Yep, that licorice scent just comes right off of it. Alright, now we put broth in. Just enough to cover all the meat. Got a lot of meat. Yeah. Luckily, I got a backup in case we need it, but it looks like one of these is going to be enough. Yeah, I think you can just use the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Actually, it worked out pretty good. Yep. Now I'm going. We're going to put some tomato paste. That should be enough. Yep, it's about half the can. Yeah, half the little can. And I'll stir that in. And I'm going to cool. add my bay leaves. Alright, so cover that up. We'll bring it to a boil, and then after it boils, we'll turn it down to simmer and let it cook for about an hour. Yep. After an hour, it's time to put in the carrots and potatoes. And we'll let it simmer for another 20 minutes. Looks like it's done. It smells good. We're ready to eat. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll put on some of my gluten-free noodle. Alright. Here's another bowl. Do you want to sprinkle with green onion or cilantro? Uh, maybe a little of both. Okay. And voila! This is our dinner. We're going to eat it in two different styles. For mine, I put it over the gluten-free noodles. For the salty Scotsman, he's going to eat it with the baguette we got from Costco. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, or comment. We would love to hear from you. Bye-bye.